Before following this guide, you must ensure you have SSH access to your Raspberry Pi. You can do this by going to the Preferences menu, located in Raspberry Pi configuration, and clicking into the Interfaces tab, and toggling SSH to Enable. Firstly, you will need to connect to your Raspberry Pi via SSH. The default username is Pi, and the password is Raspberry. Once logged in, you will need to run the wget command located in the description below. This will download the SPC installer from FreeCX and begin the installation with it. After reading and agreeing to the terms and conditions, you will then be prompted to type in your 3CX server address. This is usually https colon slash slash company name dot 3CX.co.uk. You shouldn't need to worry about the ports. Once this is done, you will then be asked for the SBC authentication key. This is where you will need to log into your 3CX server as an administrator to set up. Now we're in the administrator portal, head to SIP trunks, add SBC. Give the SPC a name to identify the site to help with any potential troubleshooting issues later on. You can then click OK. The password on this screen is not required. On the next screen, you will then see the authentication key ID. These are the characters that your SPC requires to connect back to the 3CX server. Copy the key and then paste this into your SSH window and hit OK. Your Raspberry Pi will now run through the finalization steps to complete the installation. It will then display the message 3CX SBC is up and running. To check the connection is OK, you can then go back into your 3CX admin console and see the green light indicating the connection is now complete. If you have any questions or require help getting your 3CX system up and running, please get in touch or leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching.